If you are expecting to hear coding is dead, I am really sorry to let you down. That's not the message here. Indeed, there was a time when coding was considered as the best job. But right now, we are in an era where tools like ChatGPT can sometimes write code even better than some of us. The landscape of coding is really changing, but it is too much far from extinction. These days, the specific tech stack that you use, whether it's React or Svelte, isn't the main focus. The way you write your code isn't the priority either. What really makes to everyone is whether your code solves the problem at hand. It's all about effectiveness of your solution and not the tools that helped you to get you there. This may sound cliche, but in order to put things into perspective, just look at Twitter. Every day someone is still talking about which language is better and which framework is better. Coding has always been more than just writing lines of code, and this hasn't changed in the past decade. Think of it like learning a language such as English. Knowing how to speak to a computer like speaking English isn't sufficient on its own. You need a clear understanding of what you are creating and your objectives. It's really similar to how mechanics mechanical engineers who knows English and maths but their knowledge is only useful when they know how to apply it. The fundamental aspect of coding is understanding the purpose and application of your skill. In the past, landing a job as a developer was much easier due to the high demand and lower supply of skilled developers. Being a developer was considered as the coolest job around. However, the scenario has shifted significantly. Nowadays, many companies are reducing their workforce, often attributing these layoffs to advancement in generative AI. This is really true because AI can really handle repetitive tasks efficiently, making some roles redundant. When repetitive work is evolved, companies are increasingly relying on machines instead of people. You might have come across the saying that today's elite coding is tomorrow's basic competence. This raises an important question for developers. How does this affect us? Think of coding as a form of literacy. Even if you don't intend to write your own software, understanding the basic of how coding works is incredibly valuable. This knowledge is not just for programmers. Non-programmers, if that's a real word, can also benefit from basic coding skill, whether it is to build a simple website or analyzing large set of data or even automate routine tasks. As coding become more integrated into various fields, its basic understanding become more essential for everyone. And just think about it, who doesn't spend the day interacting with the algorithms of Google, Facebook or YouTube? If you just search for YouTube algorithm on YouTube itself, you will find n number of people discussing how it actually functions. This shows that how much we are influenced by these algorithms and why understanding them can be really beneficial, even to the point of using this knowledge to work in favor of the algorithm. Them. Whether you are a programmer or not, gaining an understanding of how these digital systems and machines operate is becoming a basic thing now. Since they now play a significant role in shaping our daily lives and experience, this knowledge gives us better perspective on how things work and how we can just navigate it more effectively. But still, most people miss the part. Know your audience. You don't want to favor the algorithms. Just work for your users. Coding has changed a lot. It used to be really hard and complicated. But right now we have awesome tools like ChatGPT that can help us find and fix mistakes, super fast computers and software that makes boring jobs like checking data and organizing stuff much easier. If you are an old person, remember the time it was really hard to find good information about coding. Back then having a good coding book in the office was a great big deal. For a young person like me, book feels a lot. There will always be an Indian YouTuber who teach you coding 100x better than most universities. As you can see, now things are totally different. There are tons of free stuff to learn from online like YouTube videos, live coding on Teach and, and sites like Stack Overflow that are super helpful. For beginners, it is not scary to start coding because there are so many experts out there who are really nice and always ready to help. They enjoy on working together on projects that anyone can use. So when you think about how easy it has become to make your ideas come into life with coding, it's clear that we are in a golden age for coding. As the saying goes, the best time for starting to code was 15 years back and the second best time is literally right now. Generally speaking, learning to code has become something that almost anyone can do. If you have the determination and an internet connection, you can create a website right now even if you have never written a line of code before in your life. But ironically, as coding become more accessible, the competition in the field has skyrocketed. It's now 100 times what it used to be. Many people have seen those day in a life of a software engineer video featuring their life at big tech companies like Fang and they want the same for themselves. And this is making a dopamine hit and the surge in the interest has made this field much more competitive. Consider this scenario, there is only one job opening and 20,000 people are applying for it. Even if you are incredibly skilled, the odds of getting shortlisted are slim. It's almost 99.9% .9 luck. And even if you got shortlisted and land the job, there is no guarantee of job security. 
security. A company could let you go on the first day. It's important to understand that most companies prioritize their profits. In their eyes, one employee is often seen as interchangeable with another. This really highlights the competitive and uncertain nature of the job market in the tech industry. Your mindset should shift towards the impact that you can create. It doesn't need to be a billion dollar idea. Even a small tool or an application that you can develop could potentially sustain you financially for a lifetime. If you are skeptical about this, just take a look at the successful indie hackers. Many of their ideas are just straightforward, something that you might even think of yourself. The key to their success often lies in launching the product at the right time at the right place. These stories show that with the right idea and execution, it is really possible to achieve a significant success and financial stability. I have even seen people selling code boilerplate and making a fortune out of it. If you just zoom out, everything has an audience. As a developer, it ultimately comes down to how you can monetize your skill. The key is to shift your mindset to focus on solving the problems that others face and are willing to pay for the solution. This can take in many forms. You can create an educational content like a tutorial or a course that helps others to learn new skills. Another way which really has a potential to make money is developing a SaaS product. If a product can really make a complex process done with just a click, there are people who are ready to pay for it. Even personally, I will pay for it if it's really useful. The possibilities are really vast and by focusing on providing the value and solving real world World problems, you can find n number of opportunities to earn as a developer. My one piece of advice is to follow the trends. It's really good to be consistent, but if you can really spot the trend and jump on a trend, you could really boost your users, your earning, and even your growth. That's it. Everything okay? Yeah.